Hi guys, uh, in this uh, video uh, I will proceed to showing you how to compute the, uh, sorry, the Pearson correlation over here. Uh, Pearson correlation is um, basically a metric or a measure that explains uh, the patterns in data. Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? This is all. And it is different from the R squared. So um, I'm going to show you first um, how to produce this kind of data uh, or this kind of table. It's called the correlation table, basically between all the variables of input that we input into it. Basically, you need to go to the data section over here and to the data analysis tool pack. If you don't have it, you can add it exactly the same way that we added Solver by going to File, going to Options, and then going to Add-ins and going to Go, and making sure that the Analysis Tool Pack is checked. Once this is checked, all what you need to do is hit the Data Analysis and choose Correlation over here, and then uh, input the data. You can input the data with the labels or without the labels. This is without the labels. I like to input the data with the labels. If you input the data with the labels, as you can see, the output will have age and height rather than giving you randomly labels for the data. And then you can check the labels in the first row. So it's very important. I highly suggest even in the quiz that you highlight and select all the data is including the first row that has the labels. And then I don't want the output to be in a new sheet. I want the output to be in an existing range. And basically, as you can see, I highlighted A19. A19 is over here. You just need to highlight one cell that uh, shows uh, where the, uh, um, uh, the output will first be presented. And you hit OK. Not like me. I hit Cancel because I already have it. So the Pearson correlation could be positive and could be negative. First of all, it, it is used for continuous data. Continuous data, height and age are continuous data. They are not categorical or ordinal data. If you don't know what categorical data or ordinal data is, please uh, check your notes of your stat course, statistics course. So now Pearson correlation, guys, uh, could be uh, positive or negative, depending on the pattern or the nature of the relationship. If it is positive, this means that as age increases, height increases. If it's negative, this means as age increases, height decreases. And we always say as x variables increases, because we always uh, um, uh, interpret the, the values going this direction. We don't start randomly in any point and say if it decreases. We always start from the minimum all the way to the maximum. Uh, so we say as x increases, y also increases because it's positive. Let's see if we take this multiplied by itself, x by x, then we will get 0 0.988. What, is, what does that mean? We actually now got the r squared or the, co the coefficient of determination. So that is exactly the same r squared that we got here with the function over here rsq r squared, which is 0 0.989. So over here we have 0 0.988, but actually if you uh, just go ahead and uh, minimize these here, uh, it will be exactly the same, 0 0.989. All right, I'm going to leave this video very short because this talks about Pearson correlation and the difference between it and the R squared or the coefficient of determination, which is basically the coefficient of determination or R squared is nothing but this R squared, the Pearson correlation. The, uh, the, the hypothesis that you write here is the H is positively correlated with height and you find just the Pearson correlation. But if you want to say that H affects height, then you will need to find this coefficient, the, the whole um, uh, uh, linear model and the coefficient of the x uh, variable. I'll see you in the next uh, uh, video where we are going to use the same uh, data tool pack over here to produce the results of the linear regression. See you soon.